Oprah Winfrey for president? There are many people saying that is a possibility in the 2020 election. Yeah, the speculation grew even more after Oprah's speech about hope and change last night during the Golden Globe Awards. Political specialist Sean Boyd joins us now tonight. And Sean, political experts not ruling anything out right now. Yeah, Oprah Winfrey, Karen, has waffled on a bid for president for months, saying last March she wouldn't run for office of any kind, then six months later, not ruling it out. After her speech last night, social media exploded with calls for Oprah 2020. No, that a new day is on the horizon. Oprah Winfrey didn't even mention politics in her Golden Globe speech, let alone a run for president. It was host Seth Meyers who generated the buzz when he joked about it before she took the stage. Is it a joke? No. Stranger things have happened. Republican analyst Dick Wadham says it's clear Winfrey is testing the waters, something her longtime partner Stedman Graham confirmed when he told the Los Angeles Times it's up to the people. She would absolutely do it. Ironically, Donald Trump has opened the door to this kind of candidacy, and I think we're going to see this on both sides from here on out. But is that a good thing? I'd hate to see the country sort of descend to the point where money, fame alone qualifies you to be a public servant. Money and fame can win you an election, but as we've seen, it doesn't necessarily mean you can govern. Democratic analyst Penfield Tate suggests Winfrey has work to do, as a Quinnipiac poll last year confirmed. Her favorability rating was 52 percent, but only 20 percent said she should run for president. This is the, the question, though, for her and all the Democrats. Can they solve their problem with working class Democrats in the Midwest? But Tate says if it's this millionaire celebrity versus this one, Winfrey has the advantage. He's the insider. She's the outsider. Again, Winfrey's speech was not about politics, rather racism and sexism, but her fans clearly heard what they wanted to hear, and she didn't correct them. Meanwhile, the White House, White House told CBS News it welcomes the challenge. Dominic? It'll be interesting to see what happens. Sean, thank you.